The game isn't even over, but the Vancouver Canucks are going to lose, and this is one of those games where you can kind of hear it, you know, I'm smiling a little bit, but that's not because I'm happy. Like, you know, I've been making Canucks-related videos for years. I've seen the ups and I've seen the downs, and a lot of y'all who have been following these videos, you've been fans longer than I have been born. So we know what it's like to see a Vancouver Canucks team struggle, right? But this team... Man, they're struggling. And it's not even like a good kind of struggle. Oh yeah, they got their chances, they did this, they did that. Yeah, they're getting opportunities, they're getting shots, but as some of the graphics on the broadcast today indicated, the Vancouver Canucks have stopped being an offensive juggernaut ever since the All-Star break came and went. The Canucks are currently losing this game to the LA Kings as I am talking into this microphone with a score of 5-3. to three. They're on a two-man penalty kill shift right now, and look, if my money's gonna go where my money's gonna go, I'd say that the LA Kings will probably find a way to score themselves at least a goal before the end of this game, which is going to conclude in about seven minutes of game time. Lego, why are you making a post-game video about the Vancouver Canucks and the Kings before the game is even over? Because why wouldn't I? What else is there to learn from this game? I could have made this video a period and a half ago, and I still think the same messaging would apply. There's six minutes left in the third period at the time of me talking into this microphone, and the LA Kings have been the better team. And I know there are going to be some snarky Kings fans out there taking a look at this video and saying, yeah, you know, the one 3 one it's effective. This is boring hockey, but it works. Look at Lego Rocks 99 getting all pissed off that our team is better than his is. And yeah, I'm going to say that, you know, Canucks have had a really tough time against the LA Kings all season. It's kind of a miracle they were able to squeak out one win against this team earlier on in the season with the way that they're just not able to match them. Oh, look at that. The Canucks 5-on-3 just concluded. Wow, they killed it off. That's amazing. I'm surprised they were able to do that with how good the LA Kings power play seems to be against this team. But uh, yeah, 5-3 is currently the score. May end 6-3, may end 6-4, may end something else, who really knows, but the Canucks are not going to win. Oh, look at that, the LA Kings just scored a shorthanded goal. Adrian Kempe makes it 6-3. Oh, beautiful, beautiful games, baby. Oh, yeah, that happened right as I'm talking into this microphone. You know what? Screw the goals. Screw the recaps. Screw the penalties. We can talk about that another day. You don't want to listen to this video for that. The Vancouver Canucks absolutely suck ass against the LA Kings. Oh my goodness, dude. Like, this game wasn't even as boring as the other one. I'm not gonna lie. Like, those games were snooze fest. Like, I fell asleep watching them. It was so boring because it's just dump and chase, trap them up, clog up the middle, make it difficult for Vancouver to settle in offensively, and then just go back the other way and dump it down. Like, it was so dumb as an entertainment experience that I was like, yeah, you know, like, this is the LA Kings. This is the trap. The one 3-1. This game, I don't even know if it was like full-on trap mode. Sure, you could see the structure. It was there. The 1-3-1 was present, but like, I don't know. The Canucks changed up something. They were getting pucks in at the very least. They just cannot, for the life of them, find themselves a way to defend properly against the LA Kings. I don't want to go into the entire, oh, here's every single goal broken down conversation because... At this point in the game, there's nine goals scored, 6-3 LA, and it may even be 7-3, depending on what happens later. But, like, the LA Kings just have their way with the Vancouver Canucks, and it's so funny. It's so weird. How was this team able to beat LA earlier on in the season? There were some graphics that popped up during this game as well, like... The Canucks are 27th in the NHL in terms of goals per game after the All-Star break. Yeah, honestly, it kind of feels that way. And I get it, you know, you could say, oh, but they've still won a few games. They're still in the playoffs. They still clinch the spot. But you look at the games they have been winning. They get pity wins. That win against Anaheim, they could have lost. The wins against Arizona, they could have lost. Like, they're tight checking games and it's so different from what we had seen at the beginning of the year oh it's because Thatcher Demko is out oh it's because Elias Lindholm is out okay like does that make it any better 
Like, when you see the team lose 6-3 to the LA Kings, it's like, oh, it's because Demko wasn't here. Like, Casey DeSmith, I want to say some of these goals were questionable, but a few of the other ones, like the tip in front from Jordan Spence onto, I think it was Alexi Lafreniere, or not Alexi Lafreniere, Alex Laferriere, excuse me. Like, you can't stop that if you're Casey DeSmith. Some of these shots as well, the opening two goals, the Doughty goal and the Kempe goal. Canucks defense was not challenging. They let these players walk right in with no hesitation and just bury it. Casey, you gotta stop those, but at the same time, it's tough to stop clear, no screen shots when the guy has time to load it up and pick his placement on goal. Like, Adrian Kempe had two years to walk right in and snipe it on Casey DeSmith for the first goal, not the breakaway one that he just scored at the end of the game, because yeah, Canucks power play is weird. They can score shorthanded goals, but they can't score regular power play goals. This one was an ugly one, and I'm starting to run out of things to say. Where do they go with this? I don't know. What is the direction the Vancouver Canucks go down? You talk about the points at the end. Okay, Canucks got a goal out of Brock Besser. That was nice. Assisted by Elias Pettersson, so good. He kind of needed Pedersen to start producing a few more points if he wants to best out his 102-point mark from last year, which he's probably not going to, even though he said he wanted to. You had the goal scored by Dakota Joshua. Very nice to see that one assisted by JT Miller. And then the Teddy Bluger shorthanded goal assisted by Nikita Zadorov. That is all she wrote for Vancouver Hockey, but when it comes to the LA Kings, they get a whole bunch. And this game was out of hand early. There really wasn't much to pay attention to and to learn as the game went on because... You know, once a game is like 4-1, 5-2, whatever, it's like you're not coming back. Most of the time. And with the way the LA Kings play Vancouver, because the Canucks just have no response to the 1-3-1 and the trap, this is really one of those situations where it almost feels like the Canucks are shooting themselves in the foot. If they end up losing the first spot in the Pacific to Edmonton, LA keeps on winning, like they did against Vancouver tonight, then... What, the Canucks are going to have the Kings in the first round of the playoffs as the second and third Pacific teams? Like, Nashville has stopped winning lately. Would rather have the Canucks play off against the Predators. I know the Predators have been super hot as of late, but still, the Canucks have had a winning record against this Predators squad. They play well against Nashville. Let some other team in the Central play off against the LA Kings. Like, just give them that second wildcard spot instead. It's so crap, just the way this Canucks team has been playing as of late. Even with the few wins that they're able to squeak out of there, it's like, oh yeah, they're beating Arizona, they're beating Anaheim. They can't beat LA, they can't beat Dallas, they can't beat Colorado, they can't beat Vegas, they can't beat playoff teams. And some of these top guys stop scoring points when they play off against these playoff teams. Sure, okay, Pedersen, Miller, Besser all got points today, that's nice, but is that enough? I don't know. Thatcher Demko, please come back. I don't want to make it seem like, oh, Casey DeSmith was mostly at fault here. I do think if he had a bona fide number one goaltender, maybe some of those opportunities get stopped. But at the same time, Canucks defense is not helping him out in front of him. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Vancouver Canucks losing to the LA Kings 6-3. to One of the goals was scored live whilst I was recording because I decided to record this video before the game was even over because, you know, what else is there to learn from this? Nothing. The team stinks. They're not scoring. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Canucks and the Kings. I hope you enjoyed this video. Shout out to 99 and bye.